Hi guys, it's Pink Vision Tarot here, and I'm doing a midweek check-in for water signs. That is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. It's general. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. And remember, if I talk about someone, it might be vice versa. It could be you. Could be them. Could be anyone. If it is about a person, okay. So water signs. What are the five messages you need to know? Oh, oh, that looks nice. I think we'll stop right there. The lovers. So is someone um, new coming in? Water signs. Oh, as long as we don't bite forbidden fruit. Adam and Eve there. The snake. Temptation. Temptation. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But anyway, we could de be dealing with yourself because one of you is a Scorpio. Eight of Pentacles. This came out but reversed for air signs. Hard work paying off. Exciting. Rewards coming in. You might have your own business and you're starting to... Um, see the fruits of your labor you know come in maybe you have a craft that you're really really good at and you can start making money from it you know some people are great at reading tarot and they can make money from it some people are great artists so I almost get a feeling that someone's really talented at something and they could be in a position where they can make some money from it the alchemist reversed um, alchemist reversed I mean the alchemist is the magician so as above so below look at I can manifest anything I want, money, love, truth, passion, anything. The infinity sign above, it's reversed. Look, there's a skull down there. Um, magician reverse isn't a great energy. It's a very manipulative energy. It's a person that's manipulative. It's, um, it's a narcissist. Or even worse, to be honest, because the emperor is like a narcissist, and the emperor reverses a narcissist. But the alchemist can be like, ooh, a psychopath, that, that bad. But anyway, we won't go there, because that's an extreme version. But, you know, you could have someone around you that's quite toxic. Jealous, maybe. Jealous of you. Or, or it's, you're just not believing in yourself enough. You don't realize how powerful you are. You don't realize that you can manifest, because the magician can manifest anything. Five of Swords, reversed. So, you know, Five of Swords for me is um, a battle and a battle that someone goes into wanting to win at all costs so they don't care who they hurt in the process. They don't care if their soldiers get hurt as long as they win. You know, they don't care about the... They don't really care. Me, 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 that's all I feel. But it's reversed. Mm, let's see what else there is. Hierophant. So this could be a family situation. It could be a dynamic. We could be church. You know, the hierophant is is um, tradition. It's marriage. Um, this depiction's like the Pope. So it could be a marriage that someone has to really work hard on. That's been difficult. Breaking, working hard to break away from someone that you had a marriage with. Maybe that could be it as well. Ten of Cups reversed, yeah. You know, it's on top of the Alchemist. The Ten of Cups is a beautiful card of fulfillment. Um, dreams coming true in regards to what you want your family and life to be. And it's reversed. So things aren't great. There's, you know, there's been um, heartache. A family torn apart. The alchemist will tear your family apart as quick as the alchemist will look at you. Reversed anyway. They don't care. Ruthless. Ruthless energy. Is someone working hard to try and tear your family apart? Is someone working hard to try and do something you know be yeah and jealousy is a disease guys so if someone's jealous of you there could be you know i won't say plotting but let's see what else there is seven of wands reversed hmm. 
Three of Cups. Reversed. So, Water Signs. I'll just see what... Nine of Wands, yeah. Um, whatever's happened, um, it's been very, very tough. Someone wanted to win at all costs, and I think it backfired. I think something backfired on them. Someone definitely, I think, might be drinking too much with the Three of Cups reversed. Could be a third party situation that came in. But what's the heads up? I think 7, 8, 9, 10. I think you're at the end of, you're coming into the end of a cycle, guys, of someone that wanted to win at all costs. And I don't think that they are able to achieve that anymore. So whoever was trying to um, throw you shade or um, maybe d defame or slander you, um, I, I don't think they can do it anymore. I think something's come undone for them. And with the Nine of Wands, you know, that's a tough battle. I'm not doing it again. There's a lot of energy of people having to do things on their own. Like there's no support. There's no support. That's what the energy is for me. So I think you're, and there's the tower. Looks like what's happening in America at the moment. The tower, rioting. This could be related to, this could be related to what's happening in America, if you're American. The tower, the riots, look at that man, just, um, you know, people are sick of it. People are sick of the brutality. They're standing up for themselves, finally. People are saying enough is enough. Enough is enough. You can't keep hurting us. You know, it's like nine against one. You know, it's brutal. And I think the, the, possibly the message here, if it's related to anyone overseas, in the States at least, people are sick of it. They're sick of it. It's got to stop. And they're standing up for themselves finally. But, you know, when you get that tower energy, you know, just be mindful that no one gets hurt, that you don't get, like, hurt in the crossfire. So if you are um, involved in um, protests or something that turns into a riot, just be really mindful that you could get um, hurt in the crossfire. That's what I'm getting. And, like, what might, you know, the Three of Cups is like a celebration. Um, with friends and family, if you go into a um, a protest with the wrong message or thought in your mind, um, it could turn quite nasty. So, you know, you can't fight fire with fire. I think that's what I'm trying to say. You know, you've got to fight um, what's going on with with peace to address the situation, if that makes sense. It's the law of attraction. You can't go into like a war march, like having an anti-war march. You need to go into it doing a peace protest. You know, that's the type of thing I'm trying to say. Um, and, you know, you will be victorious in trying to make change. So there's someone out here that's working really hard. And I think they will make change within this situation. But, you know, when you're dealing with, um, the police, people that are in charge of the police, you know, they cover up for themselves. They lie, unfortunately. They um, create illusions because they don't think people are smart enough to work out what they're doing. And when they investigate each other, of course they hide things. And that's the thing. And look at that, there's a lamb. It's like take, bringing the lamb, a lamb to slaughter. So as long as no one gets hurt, guys, this could be in relation to what's happening in the States. So, um, you know, if you're in any of those protests, be mindful that you could get caught in the crossfire. <clears throat> yeah. And I don't want anyone to get hurt. <coughs> Sorry. 
this could very well be the government. And you know, my voice is going because no one wants you to speak about it. This is the government covering up for their, this is the government covering up for themselves and it's got to stop them. So be safe, stand your ground. You know, there's a huge awakening where people are sick of it. They're sick of being lied to. They're sick of being, um, having these brutal men, police officers come in and just take their life for granted. It's got to stop, guys. <coughs> and someone doesn't want me to say that, but it does. So, cancer. Cancer. Jesus. Oh, look at that. Throat chakra. Speak your truth, because someone doesn't want me to speak my truth, and now I can't speak. <coughs> Throat chakra. Very, very interesting. Someone wants you not to speak out. Speak out if you can. Talk. Tell the truth. Scorpio. Challenging times. This is, we're in challenging times, absolutely, with COVID and with what's happening, you know, with the economy and, and with this brutal behavior of, of citizens, you know, it's got to stop. So th times are challenging. So be mindful of that. And we've got two fives so far up here, two fives. Pisces, Pisces, share the love, um, peace protest, peace protest, that's what we need to do, um, we need to shine light and love on this situation that's just out of hand, it's out of control, so, you know, share the love, we are one, you know, we're all human, we're all flesh and bone. Why are we all treated so different? Why is that? Oh. Um, just an angel message for you guys. Angel message for water signs. Brilliant idea. Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to um, fruition so if you've got a bright idea um, if you have anything that you want to do the angels are telling you or letting you know that it's worth doing it's a brilliant idea um, it could involve something to do with what's happening in the states you know maybe it's a charity maybe it's a organization um, do it guys do it so I hope this helps you but everyone stay safe please